Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a brand new Let's Play. So, basically, if you follow me on social media, you know that I got a new computer. It is a gaming laptop, and I love it. I think it has definitely improved the speed and the graphics, so I hope you guys noticed that and enjoyed that. I love it. I'm obsessed. But anyways, with that came me transferring stuff from one computer to the other and I was doing my freaking hardest to do everything slowly and correctly and somehow I managed to steal to steal delete override I don't know what I did but I lost my freaking let's plays all of my saves that are important to me like the runaway challenge and heart of towns and so I was like, okay, no big deal. I'll just, you know, start all over. Nobody will notice. I didn't even save the freaking sim. So Mercy's gone. Cliff's gone. I'm so sad. Um, Towns is gone. And I could sit here and talk about how just devastated I am because I really am. But, you know, they wasn't that advanced. Like, they was maybe six parts in at the most for the runaway teen. And I don't think it'd be that big of a deal for me to just kind of just let all that go and start fresh because I see you know a new computer and everything new graphics as a chance to bring new and better content and so with that being said I'm going to introduce you to our new let's play it's going to be our seasons let's play before I went on my hiatus I actually had mentioned hey I'm going to do a seasons let's play you guys actually helped me choose which town they should live in you helped me choose the storyline and I introduced the sims to you but I never got around to making that come to life so i wanted to give them an opportunity and i'm excited i think you're really gonna like the sims but yeah with that being said here is our seasons let's play i know that it's a little bit long overdue seasons is kind of not really old news but you know some people's seasons are you know they're they're a little far along in their let's plays and i'm just starting but hey you know whatever we're just gonna roll with it so here we are with our main household we're gonna be focusing on three sims I'm about to introduce you to them but this is their house I just put the speed build up I think last week um, so yeah if you like this house there is a speed build on it and it is available for download on the gallery I just thought this house fitted them perfectly so let me go ahead now and introduce you to our sims so this first lovely little lady over here, this is Clara Salazar. And like I said, we will be playing or focusing on three different sims. And bear with me because we know that usually the first part of a Let's Play is a lot of introducing and a lot of talking. So, whew, I'm out of breath already. Here we go. This is Clara Salazar. And we're going to meet her brother Carter in a second. But basically, their mother... The father had both passed away. Their dad passed away when they were kids. Um, so, you know, it's not as fresh as their mother's passing. But their mother actually just passed away. She ended up falling ill. And Claire actually ended up taking care of her. And it was a lot of stress on her. You know, really put her, you know, through the ringer and a lot of heartbreak. You know, just being so close to her mom and watching her mom pass away. It was really, really hard. But when her mom passed away, she left the family home, which is, this is her mom and dad's home. This is the house that her and Carter grew up in. She left it behind for Carter. And so Carter moved from the city and he moved into this house. Well, Claire is here now because Claire was actually in a relationship, a very long-term relationship with Mr. Bradley McNeil. Everybody thought that her and Bradley were going to, you know, get married and have kids. And he was the one well they kind of begin to distance themselves from each other and have a lot of problems when her mother fell ill because she was always gone always helping her mom and you know wasn't spending any time with him they're two very different people he lives in the city he's into politics and she just was not about that she really wasn't um and she really wanted to just move back to Brindleton Bay because you know she missed she missed her mom and she missed her brother and she just felt like she had lost herself you know so many months you know putting up you know with her mom's illness and you know taking care of her and then she was in this relationship that kind of just brought her down and made her feel like you know 
she wasn't good enough and like she tried so hard to be there for both of them and he just kept putting her down and just was not supportive at all so she begged and begged and begged to like make it work and to please just move to Brindleton Bay with her and just have a fresh start and he refused so she showed up on her brother's doorstep and of course he welcomed her with open arms but she's excited for this new start this is her mom's old um, garden so she has completely redone it a little uh, it had grown up a little bit, so she had Carter come out here and help her, and she is about to, you know, start planting. She is in the gardening career, so we'll see how all that goes, and she also is going to, you know, be collecting some honey and beekeeping and making some little floral arrangements and making some extra cash that way. So we're going to play with all this gardening and floral arrangement and beekeeping seasons, um, little gig aspect because it's something I haven't played with yet so I'm excited to play with it but anyways let me introduce you to our other sims here let's put the walls up here a little bit all right so this is her brother Carter you can definitely tell the resemblance I think um, he has freckles you know a full face of freckles he's got like the cutest little baby face I don't know hold on let me try to let me try to maneuver here so y'all can see him. See? See the resemblance? I think they look alike. But I think he's so freaking cute. He is older than her, but he does look a little young. Um, he just has a baby face. But, yeah, they're super close. He's in the business career. Um, he graduated from college, like I said, and once his mother passed away, she had left him this house. So, of course, he took it with open arms and is interested to see, you know, where his life is going to take him here in Brindleton Bay, just coming back home. It's a fresh start for him, too. It's kind of like coming back home, but also a fresh start. So, yeah, he just got a new job. He's an assistant manager. And because he moved back into, like, the suburbs, he's probably going to see a lot more of his girlfriend, Sophia. So this is his girlfriend, Sophia. We'll see a lot of her, Sophia Braswell. Um, he adores her. They known each other for a while but they just started dating she has a son named Dalton uh, he's a toddler it is not Carter's child but he loves the little boy like his own and he's just excited to see you know where their relationship goes uh, I'm excited to see where it goes but yeah that is Carter and then this right here this is Wyatt Cahill oh my goodness Wyatt Cahill can we just take a second okay usually when I do a let's play nine times out of ten I'm gonna include a sim that is definition of my type and Wyatt Cahill my type right here on all his glory tall dark handsome tatted oh my gosh with the blue eyes and dark hair the scruff Mm. But I think he's, like, kind of unique looking compared to what I usually, you know, play with my sins. Like, he's kind of got, like, a little baby face, too, a little pug face. I think he's so freaking cute. But, yeah, this is Carter's best friend. They were actually roommates in college. And when Carter got the call about his mom, you know, they were actually roommates in the city together. You know, they just kind of clicked and decided to, you know, go in, um, you know, in this journey, this this next step in life after college together. And so, you know, Carter was like, well, you know, it's a big house. And he wasn't anticipating his sister moving in. So he invited Wyatt to come stay. And Wyatt brought his dog. This is his dog, Bella. But yeah, uh, as far as Clara and Wyatt, they have their acquaintances. She has only met him once. Um, she met him when they were in school. Wyatt and Carter came home for the holidays and she met him during Winterfest but he's a very mysterious to her you know she's a very bubbly and outgoing person um but he's more he's more laid back he's more of a loner type I think he does have the loner trait and so she's always you know thought he was a looker like but he's intimidating because he's so mysterious you know those guys it's just mysterious and she had no idea Carter of course did not tell her oh yeah come on in but just so you know we're sh you know Wyatt's staying here too so she showed up completely just oh okay hi you're, you're living here too no big deal so now she's sharing a house with two boys and she kind of already caught on to the fact that they're excited if she's here because you know she loves to cook she loves to bake and you know two men she's going to be cleaning up after i'm cooking for him but she's just excited for this new life of hers 
and um, she's excited to just see where it goes, and she's excited to be back home and just to find herself again. So, yeah, I'm excited to see where her journey goes. I'm excited to see what happens with Carter and uh, his little romance he's got going on, and they're all getting a little hungry. Oh, really, Wyatt? She was cooking, and you're going to go make the most disgusting franken beans so y'all can just be farting around you know when your sims make franken beans and they all start farting it's so gross <laughs> but yeah this is bella like i said that's why it's dog and carter and <laughs> claire actually love bella they know that their mom would definitely roll over in her grave if they knew that they had this big hairy dog in her house they never allowed pets in her house she was not a pet person but you know they're excited so bella is welcome we love bella but yeah that's so rude, Wyatt. She had literally just was trying to, to suck up to you and to her brother, who's opened y'all's arms to her so graciously with some clam chowder, and you'd prefer franken beans? Okay. She doesn't really know how to take him, <laughs> but as far as he goes, his career, he is in the program, com <laughs> I can't talk, I'm getting a little flustered, programming career, and so he has a nice little setup here. He likes to game. He likes to program. So this is his room, and this is Carter's room, and this is Clara's room. It's exactly how she left it when she left for college. Oh, I don't know. She's just she's getting all the feels, just like being here with her brother. And it's spring, but I think it's a little bit chilly. It's a little bit cold. I'm ready for it to start getting a little bit warmer because they keep lighting the fire. And honestly, it's making me a little bit nervous. But anyways, let's come over here and have her just rummage for some everyday, uh, not everyday. Yeah, rummage for spring decorations. There we go. Oh, and Wyatt, uh, he doesn't have any romantic relationships. Um, well, kind of. There's this girl named Stevie Lockett. Um, he's known her since college. They have the same job. Like, they work together now. Um, she's into programming, too. She's a tech guru. And she's, like, to a T, his type. And he is very attracted to her. But, you know, he... Mm, I don't think he's ever really had a serious relationship. Uh, he's just... I don't know. I don't know if he's not that type. He's mysterious. I don't even really know what's going on with him, to be honest. You know, I'm trying to explain him, but I, I honestly, I, I'm at a loss. I'm, I'm still trying to figure him out, honestly. Um, what are you doing? Are you cleaning up the dog's piss? Hmm. Okay, I think you're taking this, uh, this cleaning up a little bit too far. Oh, is... <laughs> I'm guessing this is a spring decoration. That, how in the hell did this big old tree fit in this little bitty box? Can somebody tell me? Because I don't even know. But anyways, why it's like, oh my god, a pink tree? Seriously? <laughs> that's what I get for, you know, it's like a woman in the house. You better get used to it, Wyatt. Better get used to it. But yeah, it's getting a little bit chilly outside. So she has decided to put on her winter wear which is really cute, but she's out here just talking to her brother, just once again thanking him for this opportunity, and he's like, uh, yeah, you know, it's not a big deal, you know, this is your home too, and, you know, eventually, uh, you know, we're gonna grow up, you know, we're young adults now, we're just trying to figure things out, and eventually, hopefully, you know, I can make Sophia my wife, and maybe I'll move, or we'll move in here, or maybe you'll move, but yeah, I mean, definitely, I don't mind, you know, sharing you know, the house with you, and I'm, I'm excited you're here, I really am, and that's really sweet, but you know what, as, as lovely as this is, Wyatt, I'm, I'm gonna clean up the franken beans, because I, I really don't like franken, it just kind of grosses me out, <laughs> weenies and beans, like, y'all might like weenies and beans, but, ugh, ugh, not me, let's make sure we set this to about every three hours, I don't want our dog starving here, but anyways, it's getting a little bit late, um, I think, Think they all have work tomorrow. Yes, they do. So let's go ahead and da, 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 da. let's have him practice his programming a little bit. And we're going to have Carter. Oh, Carter, you need to work on your speeches. So let's come up here. Um, he's feeling a little bit playful. And we need to practice our speech. And you, Missy, 
I think what we need to do, well, I guess we'll probably do it tomorrow. I really got to get rid of this freaking pink tree. I don't know what the, where we're going to put it, but tomorrow we're probably going to work from home and she's going to do a little bit of gardening because she hasn't purchased any seeds or anything and we're going to purchase some spring seeds and plant some stuff and keep up with that and keep up with our bees and everything. And like I said, she will be making flower arrangements um, for extra cash, but yeah, I don't know. Since her and Bradley broke up, she doesn't have any love interest. She's kind of not even considering that right now because they was in a relationship for a really long time. And like I said, she just kind of lost herself. And so she really needs to find herself again. Um, what's he doing? He's going to troll the forums. All right, well, I think it's time for me to put these fires out because, like I said, it's making me a little bit nervous. I'm, I'm, I mean, I know that's what they do now. The seasons is out, and it's a little cold. They'll light the fires, which is fine, but I don't know. I just, in the past, have had very bad luck, very bad luck when it comes to uh, fires. I, I tend to burn the place down. But, yeah, anyways, I'm going to have them just get ready for work and go to bed, and then I will see y'all in the morning. Alright, so it is the next morning and Clara is making breakfast for the boys. Why not? Might as well go ahead and get up early. She got up pretty early, like 4.30 in the morning. Oh, a little bit too early for me. But she figured, you know, I better go ahead and whip up some breakfast before Wyatt gets up and decides he wants to take it upon himself to um, to go ahead and, and do that. And I don't know. I think her and Wyatt are probably going to bump heads a little bit just because they're completely two different people. Like, she kind of took him the wrong way the other day when he made that Frankenbeans, which I think, as far as, like, he meant just, like, helping her and cooking because, you know, he's, he's used to being here with just him and, and Carter. And he wasn't expecting, you know, Claire to cook. And she was kind of like, well, that's kind of rude. But, I don't know, she's definitely got her own little quirky personality. And he, and she's just kind of outgoing and loud. Um, but he's very quiet and lonerish, And I think that, you know, opposites attract in a sense. And they can learn a lot from each other. But I don't know. I don't know about these two. I feel like, you know, they're just completely different. They're, it's going to be interesting seeing them, you know, living together. And just, uh, we'll see. We'll see. But let's go ahead and come sit down at the table. Are we, are we doing this again? You know, where they never want to sit down at the table with each other. That really bothers me. But, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, don't mind me but of course he's gonna come down here in his tats shirtless with them abs with that happy trail and sit right next to her and thank her so kindly for breakfast and she's like oh yeah don't mention it you know <laughs> not a big deal hi <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm kind of like her. I think she gets a little bit flustered around him, and she kind of knew, you know, that that's a vibe she got from him when she met him a few years ago when Carter and Wyatt were in college. And I think she was a teenager. I think she was maybe a senior in high school. And he's a little bit older, and he's mysterious, and he's handsome. And I'm the same way. I get kind of flustered when I'm around attractive, like, men. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I do. I'm just like, oh, my God, you're so cute. I get flustered. And I feel like she gets a little bit flustered around him, and she doesn't really know him much. But, you know, he's not an open book, whereas she's an open book. So, yeah, he's just like, wow. <laughs> Oh, looks like she's trying to crack some jokes, though. She might, he, he might not be the person she wants to crack jokes with. I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out his personality. He's just quiet and mysterious. He just, he's something. But anyways, looks like she's going to clean up. And like I said, I think we're going to have her just work from home today. Because I want to have her, um, you know, work on her garden a little bit. So let's have her just... Yeah, work from home and, like, get ready and showered and everything. And I believe he goes to work today, too. Yes. Oh, he works until 7. Um, possibly, um, I'm going to maybe skip in and out because I do want y'all to meet Sophia and Dalton. And I do want y'all to meet Stevie because, you know, they're their friends and I feel like we'll, we'll see them eventually. But I don't want to drag this part on because this is the first part. And like I said, there's a lot of introducing the Sims and talking about their stories and just kind of building up, you know, the storyline here. I honestly hate first parts just because I feel like a lot of pressure to 
make this story seem interesting and kind of give you guys an idea of where this could go and where I want to take it. But I think it'll be a lot of fun because we are focusing on three different Sims and their stories. And I'm excited to see, you know, what happens with them. I hope you guys are excited too. But I'm going to let them all get ready for work. And then we're going to have Claire come out here and work on her garden a little bit. And I think we're going to wrap this first part up um, shortly after. And then the next part will start fresh. And we'll kind of get into a little bit more storytelling and introduce you to some of the other Sims in this Let's Play. Oh, Bella gonna get up here on the couch <laughs> all right so Claire is out in the garden she has purchased some seasonal little seeds here no 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 don't 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 like that we're, we're not doing all that let's let's come over here let's change it to our biggie pursuit you're distracting me from my little story here and let's come over here bond with bees you can't do that while wearing a beekeeper beekeeper suit for real for real okay well I mean, I guess we'll risk it later. But anyways, yeah, she has gotten some little spring little seeds over here. How many times can I say little? <laughs> A lot, probably. But anyways, we got some green peas. We got some tulips. We got some carrots, some cherry trees, and some strawberries. And yeah. And so now she's over here collecting some honey. Um, this was actually something her dad was interested in, the bee box uh, and the archaeology and stuff. She figures, you know, why not? I mean, he's been raising all these bees. You know, mom tried to keep up with them. Let's see if I can do a little bit of a better job. Looks like it's not going too, <laughs> too well, honestly. But let's, um, can we change her back into her regular outfit and maybe kind of try to bond with the bees so they won't attack us? Oh, apply mite treatment? I did not mite treatment? Re what does that mean? Bond with? Let's just try to bond with them, okay? Why not? I've personally never met anybody that, you know, keeps bees. There's a beekeeper, I guess you would say. So this is all new for me, but I definitely am excited to, like, play with this. Looks like it didn't go too well. She got stung. Hopefully she doesn't get stung again with this group. Uh, she's a little bit discouraged. And I haven't yet played with the flower arranging, so I'm excited about this too. Let's try, let's just add a green vase. Um, and maybe like sell them. But yeah, I don't know. That's something, you know, since Seasons came out, I did take a little break. So I didn't, you know, do do a lot with it. But oh yeah, sell for fifty two dollars, not bad. She can make some pretty decent cash doing this. But yeah, I don't know. I'm ex I'm excited to you know see what new aspects you know comes with you know the gardening because I know they added a lot to it. I really need to do my research myself. You know, speaking of her doing research and just see what you know seasons and this planting and this gardening career has to offer so I don't want like a complete fool doing this but this is something she's very interested in and I just I love how genuinely happy she is she's finally able to do something that she enjoys for once and Bradley has texted her and is like oh congratulations you know on the new job because he knows it's something that you know she was very passionate about and it's just kind of confusing to her like you broke up with me but you know why are you still texting me and congratulating me but you know how those guys are they kind of want to be in the back of your mind all the time even though they don't want you they want you to want them and that's exactly what he's doing and I don't think that she's gonna put up with it too much longer but he really needs to stop texting her and we will meet Bradley I'm sure sooner or later maybe in the next part maybe we'll just have a big old get together I don't know and I'll introduce you to Sophia Dalton uh, Stevie and Bradley since you know they are kind of are part of our storyline but guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up so I'm not dragging it out I'm excited to get into the next part and see where the story goes I hope you guys are excited about this new let's play bear with me I know some of you were following my other two let's plays and hopefully you're not too upset that they are no more but I hope this one seems promising to you. If you like it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. Leave all your comments, suggestions, everything down below. And I will talk to y'all later. Place where we can go Where it's always shining like the snow Let's up to your heartbeat, don't you know